Hey guys, it is Vlogmas Day 11. <clears throat> I started the video a little earlier today. It was doing great, had a whole thing. Um, did my makeup, cried it off. <laughs> a little bit of frustrating wound problems. still have the proctocolectomy wound where they closed my anus and it's like notoriously a difficult wound to heal on a lot of people and after we got married and things kind of calmed down I got very good about my dressings um, you know changing them frequently making sure I have a dressing because they fall out throughout the day especially if I go to the bathroom and since we were running around so much out of the house I, I couldn't change my dressings in a public bathroom so if any drainage was in the wound that would break it down and I thought that that's what was not helping it um, so after the wedding anyway I got really good about doing the dressings Ugh, there's a hair in my mouth I was super consistent with them especially the last month and um, the drainage stopped the best way that I could describe what these wounds look like it it's too shallow but like open holes where it's super easy to pack it with gauze and then at the very bottom of both holes are sinuses like think of a funnel two funnels next to each other and where it gets really thin on the bottom that that's kind of like what the sinus looks like and from those sinuses I have drainage now my doctor months ago when I got a CT scan saw a small pocket of fluid right above that wound but didn't want to do anything and basically told me um, in December aka now at the year mark um, we would visit oh this pisses me off we would visit um, flap surgery options which I'm not doing like I'm just flat out not doing I'm not going through that because dealing with this is so much less than um, going through another surgery I'm not doing that over the last month of like very consistently changing these dressings making sure they were dry using meta honey um, using silver the, what is it called the like colloid silver whatever I don't know I got both of the sinuses to close and the last couple of days I kept saying to Zach like I think I think the wider part of what would be the funnel on each hole I was like, I think it's getting shallower. Like, I really think it's getting shallower. It looks like it to me. But then this morning, I took the dressing out, and there was drainage because both sinuses opened back up. So, I'm just really irritated. <laughs> Very frustrating. It's not, like, painful to me. It's just annoying and kind of gross. It's not a lot of drainage, but... Anyways, <sighs> that is today. Um... We also found out yesterday, our governor announced that Pennsylvania is closing down again, starting Saturday. Um, so a lot more of our videos will probably be from home, unless things like drive through lights are still open. Um, I'm just not sure. Yeah. Oh, this morning too. Um, it was kind of cool. We had something called f freezing fog. No, that doesn't sound right. Frozen fog. I think that's what it was called. I have no idea. Um, basically, I've never heard of this, but basically it came through in the middle of the night and this morning. It was really beautiful out. I was up really early, um, so I decided to go outside and get some video of it. It was so pretty. Everything was sparkly, um, and then it started to melt as soon as the sun hit it. But we are supposed to get a snowstorm supposedly next week, um, next Wednesday-ish. So we'll see if that happens. Anyway, because I woke up at 5 a.m. today... I'm gonna relax today and I need to get myself together this afternoon again redo my makeup 
Yeah, Zach and I are going to film the Q&A to go up actually tonight. Oh shoot, so when I said day 11, I meant day 12. I meant day 12. So that's our, that's our start to the day. I'll check in with you guys soon. All right guys, a little later in the day, Maggie's in her favorite napping location. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I guess I woke her. Thanks. Mm. <laughs> I was like, who was talking? It was in my dream. <laughs> Sorry. I was just gonna show you resting up for the big Q&A later. Mm -hmm. I gotta redo my makeup too. You're already beautiful. Mm. Okay, back to sleep. Hey guys, it's a bit later. Um, we just finished our Q&A. Zach is over there. Ooh, can you see him? There we go. He Pardon? is, he's doing the fish tank. Yep. Science. All right, Mags, what are we doing? I'm editing our Q&A that we just Filmed. So I'm giving you some more to edit. This will be for day 12 because I'm updating you all on my wound, which is still draining. Disappointing, but yes, I am. I guess sneak peek into a pro process. Oh, this is like the and in the beginning. Not Wait, it's not focusing. It oh, because I have it for facial recognition. Recognition. I'm so tired, even though I slept all afternoon. Um. Yeah. So. Editing the video, making the thumbnail. Let me see. Where did I download it? If I find it, I'll show it to you. Okay, what do you guys think of our thumbnail? Wait for it. <laughs> it got it. It took a minute, but it got it. Yeah, so that's what I'm doing right now. And some behind the scenes. <laughs> <laughs> and then this little thingy is at the end of our intro. Or, yeah, at the end of our intro when I do the little jingle for Vlogmas. A little, little Vlogmas touch. <laughs> Alright, guys, I don't think I've showed off or shown the fish tank in some time. So, starts quite high. Um, but ever since our uh, mass casualty of a year plus past due to a less than reputable fish dealer, slowly getting back into the hobby, uh, pretty much have made the t has, ah, I've pretty much made the tank self-sustaining at this point so we just tested the two biggest parameters to be concerned of in a tank which are phosphates and nitrates both coming in very low and that is three months without any water change just adding for any time uh, or just adding due to evaporation so we got the philodendron the big guy up top some peace lilies on the sides here and inside I don't have a lot of fish currently in the tank. Oh, there's some glare in the tank but you can see inside the tank you can see a few little fish I got some silver tip tetras uh, some moss on our little driftwood there and at the very bottom we got some plecos if you can see these guys there we go assassin snails neat Nitrite, I always say nitrite, but nitrite snails. And then impossible to find the root system up high. We do have a few shrimp, <laughs> which everything currently in the tank was just trying to devised or created to make it self sustaining, which have just about got there, gotten there. So. And I have sworn since you've gotten those stupid shrimp that they got eaten right away, and they'll appear every couple of weeks like. They ate all the food up there and they're like, hey, what's up? Where's dinner? And then they're having like a meeting at the bottom of the tank, like all eight of them. of them. Yeah, they all get together. It's all at once. They're only out for like an hour. And then they go back up and we don't see them for another yeah. two So weeks. pretty soon, I think we might be restocking with a few additional tank mates. Woohoo! All right, it's the next day. Really quickly though, before I talk more about my wound and like kind of how I'm working on getting it to heal obviously it's it's not going perfectly but the two items i use that i think helped a lot um i have to show you what zach and i just drove through this is actually probably one of the thickest patches yet <laughs> oh my gosh first it was snow and now it's fog we can't even see a quarter mile or less tenth yeah. of a mile ahead of us there's a big hill up well not a big hill but there's a hill up ahead this is crazy and this is what the heck? Deer crossing the road, Ty. <laughs> and it's going to get even worse tonight, that means. 
Yeah. Jeez. That's crazy. It's literally been foggy this entire day. It got better for one hour, and now it's 20 times worse. Oh, my god. On top of what? Now we're predicting up to two feet of snow this coming week for us. Yep. <laughs> and the forecast has just been increasing every day. Oh, my gosh. This is crazy. What's going on? This is crazy. Sorry, guys, to keep bringing me back to it, but it feels like it just keeps getting worse in spots. Yeah. Like, uh, also, uh, look at our cool new dash cam. Oh, yeah, I forgot. You can see us. Oh, we're in black and white now. Because it's, it's night. Darker, and then you I can't can even see, see the, the curve of the road ahead. I mean, yeah, we drive this road all the time. I know exactly where I'm going. Wow. Uh, there's like a big curve up in the road ahead, less than 100 feet probably. Yeah, here it is. Isn't that crazy? It was like, whew, we could not see. It actually got worse than that. We were going to the grocery store and then coming back, it was dark out too. So, a little bit scary driving in that, but we made it. Um, but yeah, I told you guys yesterday how my wound sort of split a little bit. I had a sinus, actually both sinuses reopen um but it looks like the actual larger part of the wound is getting more shallow which is good my only fear is that if there's a pocket of i don't know like if there's an abscess back there i don't really want it to heal too much because it'll just it'll keep opening like it has been the um, two ointments that I've used that I think really helped a lot we'll start with this one it's called Silvex and basically a couple months ago I was talking to um, a very homeopathic doctor and he was asking me like do you think you have biofilm building up over your wound and it kind of looks like that sorry we're making pizza if you heard that beep kind of looks like there was biofilm at least there used to be and he said why don't you try any like silver products so I got this stuff and this helped a ton it got rid of my biofilm I used it really consistently by putting a little glob on gauze and then pushing the gauze into the wound and it got rid of the biofilm completely which is why I think now it's getting shallower and then I've been using which many 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 people on here have suggested I use um, meta honey and I was using the dressings before I was using um, a different gel, but I found that this particular one worked really, really well. It's Meta Honey Gel. And this, I think I mentioned before, if I put it on gauze, turn off the oven really quick so it's not beeping in the background. All right, we're now in my kitchen because I have to take the pizza out of the oven. <laughs> um, but if I used that, it would leak everywhere because it would kind of melt even if I had gauze up there, but this stuff does not melt everywhere and ruin my pants, which is why I really like that one. So I'm gonna put the links below for both of those items. I'm gonna keep working at healing this wound and I may be seeing my surgeon soon to figure out if something needs to be done if there is an abscess. Thank you so much for watching this video and thank you for your support in my lovely wound care. And uh, since I didn't say it in the beginning of this video because I was kind of upset, Happy Vlogmas Day 12. All right, guys, I hope you're all feeling good, and I will see you tomorrow.